Okay. Hey guys, this is Mrs. Foy, and this is a quick little tutorial on electron configurations. So I'm going to have Tatiana, she's my camera girl today, come around and kind of show you what I'm doing here. And you may need to kind of zoom in on this, Tatiana, if you can. So this is a periodic table, right guys? And this is showing you the principal quantum numbers, or the energy levels, which are the rows on the periodic tables. And then we have different suborbitals that are S's, these are D's, these are P's. And then we have F's down here, but we'll learn about those later. So what's going to happen is, is that we are going to learn how to draw where the electrons kind of live on an atom. And we know how many electrons there are because we can look at the, the atomic number of an element, and we know, for example, beryllium has four protons, but it also has four electrons in an atom. So there's a bunch of rules for this, and I'm going to teach you these later. But what we did in class today is we listed the energy levels in order from the lowest energy up to the highest. So these would be the closest to the nucleus, and these are the furthest away. And you get these just by reading the periodic table. So this is going to be 1s over here, and then 2s. 2s's and then the 2p's and the 3s's and the 3p's and the 4s's and then you drop down to 3d's and then back up to 4p's. These are the noble gases and those are important because we'll see those electrons are perfectly filled for those energy levels. So what we did today in class is we were looking at an electron. We made it a little symbol just kind of like an arrow. And hydrogen only has one, of a, one electron, so there's the one electron in the 1s energy level. Helium has two electrons in the 1s level, but so I'm going to put one electron this way and one arrow this way. These little um, arrows represent the spin of the electron. So lithium has three electrons, and so its electrons are going to live in there's the first two electrons, and then the higher energy electron is in the 2s because lithium is in the second row in the s orbital. All right? And then let's do beryllium. Beryllium's going to have one, two, three, four electrons. And now we go to boron, and boron, as we can see, is in the p orbitals over here. So boron's going to have one, two, three, four, five. Carbon has one, two, three, four, five, six, but notice how these P's are not doubled up in the same suborbital. That's because the P's are all in the same energy level, so we can spread those out. They don't have to double up yet. Nitrogen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But then by the time we get to oxygen, we have to start doubling up in this 2P orbital. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fluorine, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then look, when we get to neon, neon is a noble gas. And it's going to have all of its p orbitals filled in the second energy level. So this is called an electron filling diagram. And if you were missed class today, then you may need to get some help from somebody um, that's in your lab group about this. We also learned how to write the electron configuration. This is kind of like a code for these, um, this is a, a cartoon of, the, of where the electrons live. This is how you write the code. So hydrogen's electron configuration is 1s1. That 1 means there's one electron in that energy level. Helium is 1s2 because there are two electrons in that energy level. Lithium is going to be 1s2, 2s1 because there are two electrons in the 1s and one electron in the 2s. And that's it. Thanks a lot. Bye.